My name is Gundula. I am a gardener here at Babylon's Toren. It means the Tower of Babel. I've been here for the last six years, working very closely to the owner, who really bought the oldest piece of land he could find. This farm was established 300 years ago to feed the passing sailors. And we use that history as a foundation for whatever we do. So we actually invite our visitors who come daily to be like passing sailors, come to admire this interesting, strange world, and to actually taste the food from our place. So working here at Babylon's Turin has been a wonderful opportunity because we can really actually focus on what is beautiful. At the same time, it's completely practical. We only plant what is edible and medicinal, so everybody has to eat and be healthy with something. And so we provide that. How we're actually just a platform to nature to do its best. Um, we provide the right conditions, we honor what is right for the plants, but nature then has its full ability to just do its best, you know, move in that wonderful energy. You can actually harness that energy and do it in your own small way, where there's just a small vegetable box, a window box, um, mixed with herbs, flowers, carrots, doesn't matter. It's really this wonderful example we have, how nature does it best, that we can very easily adopt and put in your own pocket, make it yourself. Even just carrying a flower in your pocket for a day is a way of catching that spring beauty that you see around you and how you put things together that you find the beauty of things. I think those are very simple ideas of how to encourage life again. With us, um, focusing on going to work, building things, structured stuff. We also have to remember to nurture a small piece of life and I love what is beautiful in life and you don't have to die to go to paradise. You can actually wake up the things around you to create the paradise you want to live in.